A few days ago, I showed you guys how to install um, the first version of the custom firmware for the Pocket Go. I actually have it right here on a 16 gigabyte SD card. But in this video, I have got the old firmware SD card in because we're going to do a test. We're going to see if there is still screen tearing on the new firmware. So let me just show you what screen tearing is. If I just go and launch up the NES emulator, um, let's just play something like Super Mario World. Basically, if you launch up this game um, and you know play it, just play some of the levels, you notice this kind of glitch in the screen. Now, what it does is it kind of makes the stage like shift a bit. It moves, it like glitches. It's actually called um, screen tearing. So let's just go and start a game right now, and I will show you exactly what I mean. So if I just go onto this one right here. And if I just play part of the game, just walk around, you will actually see the screen will kind of start to glitch, start to shift a bit. This is also a bit laggy, well not really laggy, just a bit like frame, has a few frame rate drops in it and stuff like that. So as you can see, as I'm moving right now, um, the scenery is kind of wobbling a bit, the stages are kind of moving. It's just not really, um, the gameplay just isn't really that nice on the SNES. I don't know if this does it with other games, apparently some Game Boy Advance games as well, but um, mostly just SNES games so as you can see if you ever look at the stages right now you can see that they're you know moving quite a bit wobbling quite a bit and um yeah hopefully new firmware um, has fixed this because this is actually a firmware issue i'm not sure if it has fixed it or not but obviously we're going to have a look and we're going to find out if it makes a difference or not so yeah hopefully you guys can see it i know the screen's quite small but hopefully you're able to see what i mean when i say like tearing screen tearing it's just kind of like glitching and stuff like that you notice it um, well on like the scenery mostly if you have a look at the pipes right now you can see they're glitching quite bad and what i have no idea what happened just there i just get hit by something what Okay, I think this game is completely broken. But anyway, we're going to put in a new firmware. Um, maybe I'll just do a close-up just so you guys can definitely see the screen tearing. So that is exactly what I mean by screen tearing. Just the stages shifting. So let's check this out on the new firmware. Does it still have the issue or is it fixed? I don't know if it does, so that's why we're going to find out. So let me just put in my other SD card and let's see what happens when we play the same game on the custom firmware. Alright, so now we're going to try the same thing, but I've now got the SD card with the custom firmware on. So let's go over to the SNES, let's go and boot this up, and here you go, I've got my ROM in here, Super Mario World, exactly the same one. Let's press A to go and boot this up, and let's see, does it make a difference, or is the screen tearing still quite an issue? So let's just pick the same level as last time. And here you go, this is the same game on the custom firmware. Has it been improved or is it still exactly the same? Um, I'll do a quick gameplay just to see what happens. Um, it, right now it's looking like it's exactly the same. So I'm just going to zoom you guys in a bit just so you guys can see. See so by the looks of it, the screen tearing issue hasn't really been fixed. I don't know if you guys can quite see it. But um, there's still quite a bit of screen tearing. If you look at the scenery and stuff like that, moving about, it's still kind of glitchy. You can still see the scenery moving. And um, yeah, they don't actually seem to have fixed it. So this, this is a firmware issue though. So hopefully someone makes a really cool custom firmware and that will actually fix it. But as of now, there's still quite a lot of screen tearing, especially on the SNES. And um, yeah, so I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Update the firmware if you want the Pokemon Mini emulator. But as far as screen tearing goes, they haven't actually bothered to fix it or haven't found a way to fix it. So if you guys enjoyed this quick video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.